hi guys welcome to my youtube channel today i'm talking on more tips on technical drawing so we'll be looking at um, a few other points on the tips which are staying organized using software tools develop developing a steady hand understanding material properties and seeking feedback and learning so these are the five five tips we'll be looking at today in our video um before we move on please uh, click that subscribe button like this video and give it a share to your friends yeah so you could get more content from me so let's move on so we're looking at staying organized on a point layer use layers to separate different elements of your drawing for clarity have a clean workspace keeping your workspace clean and organized to avoid smudges and errors like um, when drawing with a pencil then your hand goes across the paper and then it creates this um, kind of uh, a blur effect on the pencil making it not look sharp look spent and then get you work you know so avoid that keeping a clean workspace is very important keeps you in it then we use software tools to cut software we learn to use card that is computer aided design software like AutoCAD, SolidWorks or SketchUp for precision and efficiency we use digital tools Digitalize, utilize digital drawing tablet for more flexibility and control. Yeah, you can go an extra mile and get in those stuff. It's gonna aid you too. It'll keep you cool with that. I think it's cool. It's cool. Yeah, develop a steady hand. You develop steady hand by practicing regularly, drawing regularly. You know. Looking for um, 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 problems, solving drawing problems. You get good at it just by drawing regularly. Practice makes perfect, I will say. So, regular practice will improve your hand control and precision. Then, look at drawing exercises. Engage in exercises like tracing, freehand drawing, and detailed sketching. Yeah, those drawings just keep your hand, you know, get your hand busy. Uh, I don't know, I feel like. The more I lay my hands on drawing, the more the better I become. The more accurate I become. So I don't have to start them um, trying to want to get accurate just like that. But it's practice. It, it, it takes time though. It takes time. So just just shoot. Um, then we'll be looking at understanding material properties, materials and textures. Learn how different materials and textures are represented in technical drawing. Those are, okay, yeah, kind of, yeah, the way you hash, you shade materials to differentiate two different um, pieces of drawings. Uh, you can use dotted, you can use, um, you know, wood style, metal, you know, there are different conventions of which uh, they are being shown on the screen here. Like, that's some of them, you know. The cross section and cut ways. Practice drawing cross sections and cut ways to show internal details. Yeah, yeah, we'll get into that part of the video. Although I have our videos concerning that drawing, it's linked in the it's linked in the description below on section drawing. Section drawings, yeah, I have a video on that. So you could look towards that to get. Yeah, then we'll be looking at them. Um, Seeking feedback and learning. That's our final tip for today. Where you review and revise your work. Regularly review your drawings and make necessary revisions. Seek feedback from peers, from friends. Seek feedback from friends. Constructive feedback from peers, mentors, or online communities to improve your skills. So I believe if you keep to these skills, to this, so I believe if you try these skills on your drawing, try these tips, sorry to say, on your drawings, 
your everyday drawing habits it's going to improve your drawing ability accuracy your precision you know neatness and all that it will just perfect so just take your time you know make these skills make these tips part of your as your guideline on the drawing thank you guys for watching the video once again i appreciate you guys thank you